Well, you know what they say. There are no kingdoms without rulers. Hello, this is Valerie Vidmar. Welcome back to another segment of Moments of Influence. Today I am going to be speaking with Dustin Haupt. Uh, and Dustin, what are you going to speak about today? I'm going to talk about Will and Grace on the NBC sitcom. Okay. So let's start with uh, your f- first viewing. Do you remember sitting down or do you remember yeah. watching so, this? Yeah. So this was, you know, in the height of NBC's must see TV on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. This It started in 98 and I had, you know, recently gotten out of high school. Um, and this was the first time that I, you know, growing up in a very sheltered Kansas life. Um, it's the first time that I saw two gay characters on screen on big screen TV. So you had, uh, Will Truman who was played by Eric McCormick Mm -hmm. and Jack, 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 just Jack, just Jack (laughs) with, uh, Sean Hayes. Yeah. And, uh, Deborah Messing as Grace. She was his, which say her, his straight girlfriend, straight girlfriend, his best friend, best friend in the world. So uh, the show and Megan Mullally as Karen. Oh, can't forget Karen. Can't forget Karen. That's ridiculous. Um, this, I I do remember watching the first one, thinking, okay, let's see how this works. Right. I laughed. I laughed from the very first one. I'm every episode. It it was. I also remember that too. That it was, you know, it was obviously more than just two gay characters on screen. It was this huge dynamic between these four people and the crazy things that they do. And I just remember being like, these people are freaking hilarious. Just, just the antics that they would do and the banter and the wit in their conversations. Quick time. They had great comedy time. Yeah. There was good comedic timing. There was no missed opportunities. I feel like, um, and they pushed the envelope too. There were a lot of things they did throughout the history that they, I think the friendship between Will and Grace Mm -hmm. is that, do you think that's your main staple or do you go for, I think, I think their relationship is very relatable in the gay community. I think there's always, um, a gay guy always has his best girlfriend um, that they share a lot in life with. Um, my husband has his as well. So I think that was very relatable. But um, I think it was seeing, you know, as as a younger gay man trying to come out and everything, it was seeing these two gay characters on, on big screen, you know, or big, TV, Thursday night TV. I mean, that was, I remember it was a big deal to just even like as a freshman in college, sit on Thursday nights and watch must see, must see TV. Oh, I had, I had a big impact. Yeah. I mean, Joe Biden is the one that said uh, that it did the most, almost everything uh, was ever done that could be done for the LGBT community. I think it was Will and Grace. Yeah. I think it started a lot of conversations too, because here you are going into the mainstream TV that happens to be a big night on TV and people are really accepting these, this, this show and these characters. Well, I think they're also seeing Will Truman is a normal, he's a lawyer. He has a normal job. You wouldn't you, know he was gay. No, not at all. That's what I, I mean. And then you have the, the, st- the stereotype Which you have in Jack. So you, so they play kind of both ends of the spectrum where it, you know, and Jack and Will play off each other about that. But they, you know, the, the, the perception of the two, Mm -hmm. you know, America's perception of the the straight acting gay Mm -hmm. and the flaming gay. Mm -hmm. And you have to be one of those and you have to be, one has to be. Who was the girl in your relationship? You right. know, th- they they address a lot of these things. And I also think that the friendships that women have with gay men, they're just such a different type of friendship than they yes. have with with their other girlfriends. And I loved 
that yeah. part too. And you see, and even in like, there's times where I really love the re- relationship between um, Grace and Karen too. It's this, this girlfriend kind of relationship between the two as well that kind of coexists between kind of the, the gay guys relationship. Which I felt was, I I don't think that anyone had feelings for anyone else. I mean, Mm-mm. I know that Grace loves Will. Right. Um, it's interesting because you can have that love. And then when somebody, when she started falling for Leo. Yes. Uh, Harry Connick Jr., that brought in it's a real thing well the the baby right Let's talk about the baby the baby yeah they were on a track to have a kid together and those are conversations that i've had yeah. with close girlfriends yourself included you know and it's like they started this track and then what'd she do hit her head and fell off a horse and there was <laughs> leo you know but that's a betrayal yeah and he felt i mean that's why they went to therapy Right. You know, the next season started with them in therapy. Like, I thought we were going to do this together. Which is, I mean, I don't think that a lot of people were thinking about. Mm -mm. I mean, a lot of people aren't thinking about these types of (laughs) issues because they don't want to or they don't care. Right. Um, But I know a lot of people that refuse to watch it. And I feel like what I also loved about it, too, is that will and grace you know some people will say like oh my god the show is jack and karen no it's not it's will and grace yes jack and karen are awesome um but will and grace is what holds the show together because it is about them and they can have the serious moments and karen and jack are the like they can just be crazy silly and and kind of offset because i think there were a lot of serious moments on will and grace do you have a favorite episode of the first run Gosh, the first run. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I can't remember which season it was in. Um, but or a moment. I was going to say one moment that it actually doesn't even have to do with Will and Grace, but uh, there was it was with Jack and Karen, and he was filming for a commercial. Um, well, not a commercial. It was for a office sexual harassment video. Mm-hmm. Do you remember this? And he was filming for it, and Karen got casted as this the secretary and Jack was the boss and he was supposed to hit on Karen. So he kept kissing in her ear and she just really started liking it so much that they couldn't get through it. I don't know if you remember this. Yeah. It was hilarious. Um, I love that. But I also love some of the moments with Will and Grace more so in the later scenes after she gets married. Um, and start drifting know, away. And they start drifting away. And when she's moving out, She's finally moving out and going to live with Leo. Um, that's hard. That's hard. We've done that. Yeah. That's, that's hard. Yeah. That is hard. <laughs> um, and so I, I've kind of drifted off. I have them all taped. But oh, you, yeah. But you started watching the new season. Yeah. You know, I think that was a, I, I don't think Will and Grace probably started the trend, but I feel like they really brought it to the forefront of this whole like let's let's reinvent the show and and start a whole new season Mm -hmm. and i i really like it um the first episode was a little very political too political um we we got the message yep get it um Mm -hmm. but the other ones it's just like they're will and grace again and and it's just like it was back in 98 to do you think it still has the comedic I mean, I do. It still has the timing. It still had, they're the same characters, obviously. Do they they grow? Are they growing as people? Well, you know, that's what's interesting. Obviously, the end of the original series, which I did not like, um, they they really went apart Mm -hmm. and they, because Grace is going to go off and do her thing and he's going to go off and do his thing and they lost touch. They fought. They fought and they lost touch for like 18 years. That, I know in the gay community was a big like misstep. Like, would that really happen? Because if this is your best girl, well, what happened? What was there? What the fight about? I'm trying to remember exactly what the fight was about. I think it was about just living their lives and will being with his guy and starting to have a family, a baby and grace, mm-hmm. you know, having a baby. And they kind of just, they just lost connection and they went off and they met up again because their two kids uh, were in the same dorm. 
And that's how they kind of reconnected again. Mm -hmm. And that's how the series ended. Mm -hmm. It it didn't go over well, in a, in, at least in the gay community. It didn't go over very well. And I agree. I didn't really like it. So they have now since just pretended that that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And they've just kind of picked up where it last left off, which I think was the right thing to do because where they really left it off would not have been Do good. you think it's having any, I mean, it had such an impact before. Is, are they having any types of impact now? I think it's having an impact now for the the current generation, you know, that's just starting to come out. That's just starting to be comfortable being gay. And here it is again. Another, you know, there's a lot in the industry now with gay characters, but here's another, here's another one back in. Um, I think it's, it's still really funny. I, it always makes me laugh and get, they do address some serious things, serious, um, real, um, relationships, mm -hmm. um, that, that people have and the issues that come up and they I mean, do it with a funny way. But I, I do appreciate the fact that there's a show about that friendship. Yes. And, and one of my most favorite episodes is the Thanksgiving episode where they all go to each family's house mm -hmm. and they have a timer set. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that they, well, that's the second time they go, but the first time they go, it's like, there's a timer set and this is how long we're going to, we're going to be there. And then when they go back again, they set the timer even shorter. But, um, but that was very, I remember watching that episode and it being very relatable, just, nice. you know, these friends supporting each other, going to their families, you know, Thanksgivings where they don't really want to be because they'd rather be with their friends. Because the one thing in the gay community is we don't sometimes always, we get to choose our family, which mm -hmm. means a lot more mm -hmm. um, than the, than the family that we're given. So, you know, they have all four chosen each other to be, together and have but this relationship speaking of, of grace and then you get married yeah trying to explain that you also have this other male in your life that is important and that you tell everything to right that's very hard right for a husband i mean i mean that's yeah hard. so I, I feel like that's interesting that they that they did that um it's very so relatable. Is, they did not. Have they just said that Grace's mother passed away. Mm -hmm. Debbie Reynolds was Debbie her mother. Reynolds. She was phenomenal in that role. I mean, just in she's a phenomenal actress, but that she was, was so good. Um, Molly Shannon has since come back. She was hilarious. Uh, you know, the quirky neighbor, the crazy neighbor. So, do you like it because it makes you laugh? Do you mm -hmm. like it because? You feel like, oh, look, it's it's a show about us. You all, know what I mean? All of the above, I think. It's a show about, I like it because it's a show about gay characters. I like it because it's a show about friendships and, the, and how friendships can be family. And I relate to that. I also like it because I do laugh and kind of a conversation that we had earlier today about how movies make you escape. I just sink into this show and I just start watching it. And I, there's just so many moments in life where there's not a lot of laughter. It's, and it's so you can well just written. escape and laugh. I mean, this show, let's see here. It's the highest rating sitcom, uh, among 18 and 49 year olds from in 2001, 2005 with 16 Emmy awards, right. 83 nominations. um, in 2014, WGA, the Writers Guild of America, named it. It was 94th out of the 101 best TV, uh, best written TV series of all time. So it, it's not like it's just some silly show. Sure, you know yeah. it's it's got some impact. But they've they've all won of awards. The show's won awards. Um, it's it's relevant and just damn funny. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> well. Thank you so much for sitting with me and talking about Will and Grace because. Thanks for having me. We, uh, we talk about us being Will and Grace and so it was kind of cute yeah. um, with our friendship being 
so long. Right. So, yeah. Cool. All righty. Well, thank you for sharing. And I will start watching my taped episodes. Yes. I know. Because then we can talk about those. I know. I know. (laughs) I know. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening uh, to Moments of Influence. I hope that you will tune back soon. If you've liked what you've heard, please consider sponsoring us on Patreon. Patreon is a creator support system that allows people to support the things they love and creators to continue doing what they love. Head on over to patreon.com slash gfmedia and choose the Cultural Stew podcast levels to show your support for us. Thank you. Join forces today.